Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Thursday the 31st of August 2023, which is a full moon, a full moon in Pisces no less. It's a blue moon too, it's the second full moon in the month, so which makes it a blue moon because it doesn't happen very often. And it's at 8.35 a.m. here, Bangkok time in Asia and so some people might be experiencing this full moon on the 30th and just depends where you are now according to this deck full moon in pisces is all about forgiveness it could be about self-forgiveness let's see if the guides agree with that now i have a live show three times a week here on youtube it's called psychic cafe i give one question readings in there you can book those at any time on my website behealing.com there's a link in the description box below and also one up there too i will do your reading right at the start of the live show and then send you the link to the replay to watch it so if you can't make it or um, you don't want to come live then you can watch that otherwise you can find out when the next live show is going to be on my web on my youtube channel be healing down there by clicking there and click on notify me or remind me or something like that come along live and book while i'm live i also offer private readings as well from my website behealing.com there's a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too and i get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them if you've got questions for that reading click on the contact us page after you've booked in and you've now got two chances of winning one of those private readings with me every month. One way to enter is by clicking like on this video, leaving a comment while you're watching and being a subscriber to my channel. Uh, that'll get you an entry, so good luck in winning that. Another way to get an entry into the other draw is by checking out my pick a card reads and purchasing the deeper dives. There's extended readings to that. So good luck with that. So let's, let's, let's see what's in the energies for this full moon in Pisces. We've got be still a while. So not much going on. Might be one of those hideaway kind of full moons rather than one of those crazy full moons. But let's have a look. Paradox. Okay, might be both. So there's some kind of a contradiction, some kind of a paradox in the energies. Pisces can be quite emotional. Full moons or new moons. Protection. Perhaps a need to protect yourself. Um, I'm not feeling from attack or anything like that. I'm just feeling like um, keeping to your own space kind of thing. Protecting yourself from energies. Do you know what I mean? So it might be one of those crazy full moons, but you might not be involved in the craziness. Might want to stay home and be still a while, not get involved if other people are going off. You know how it can be on a full moon. We do get affected by moons. And yeah, I don't know. In I know I know in Australia they put more police on the streets when it's a full moon because it does get a bit crazy out there. You might not want to be involved in that. So let's find out more. One more, please. What's in the energies? There we go. Okay, starting out with. The Queen of Swords, there's a need to have boundaries, a need to say no, a need to leave yourself out of something. The Queen of Cups, being open to receive. Now that's paradoxical, isn't it? That's where the paradox is, I think. Queen of Cups, being open to receive, ready to receive. So that's very much a yes card. This is very much a no card. We've got the Six of Cups, something about the past. And... The Six of Wands, two, six, two Queens and two Sixes, interesting. Six of Wands is about um, public recognition. It's about winning something. It's about um, yeah, recognition for good things that you've done, good deeds that you've done perhaps. That could be what you're receiving. Anyway, let's see, Queen of Swords, why do we have to say no? What is all this boundaries business about? Protection, protecting ourselves, leaving ourselves out. Muse of Voices, you might have clarity about that. Nine of Materials, being single and independent. The Ace of Emotions, falling in love. And the Six of Voices, moving toward something else. Okay. So if you are in transition at the moment, and they were the energies in the energy update yesterday, you might have clarity to leave yourself out of something. Do your single independent thing. Falling in love and then moving somewhere else. It doesn't have to be like moving somewhere else and be falling in love with someone. It could be that for some of you, but it could be headed towards something in the future now and doing something different. You might be leaving yourself out of 
um, an in invitation to something uh, because you no longer it's not going to go into your future decisions that you've made yesterday check out that um, reading yesterday because that could be very significant yesterday's reading to this new moon full moon sorry full moon is about letting go of things and we had letting go energy yesterday and it was about letting go of people it could be people that you're working with um something like that but yeah definitely check out that reading yesterday's reading because it's got it's got something to do with this today and with this full moon Ooh. that card shouldn't be in there so what's behind this why do we have to leave ourselves out of something abundance perhaps saving your money but it could be about saving your energy as well saving your energy for something else perhaps you've got something to do tomorrow some some movement happening tomorrow for something that you would like to do better you would more like to do than the thing that you're being invited to today queen of cups but being open to receive Queen of Cups. Tell us why the Queen of Cups is here, please. The Queen of Cups. The Muse of Materials. That's the King of Pentacles. So there could be somebody, you could be receiving money from somebody or some, any kind of material possession, in fact. It could be something from the boss as well. That can be um, the King of Pentacles. Someone that's very stable, someone that's in charge of the money, perhaps, um, and you could be open to receive from that, perhaps from things that you've done in the past as well. Changes. Ready for change. This could be about money that you need, payment from, from things that you've done in the past, but money that you'll need to invest in something in the future. You might be open to receive that today. Or we asking for that perhaps today. The Six of Cups, the past energy. Something from the past. Tell us why the Six of Cups is here, please. The Five of Materials, having to say no to that past energy. So the thing that you're saying no to today is definitely past energies or it's in your current energies, but it's something that you don't want to take into the future. So yeah, this is totally connected with yesterday's reading. Which was all about tending to the future and then kind of being determined to, to, to create your own future now and realizing that people and things that perhaps in the past made you happy are no longer making you happy. You might be a little bit bored with it. And even though there is a level of happiness in your comfort zone there, uh, when we're leveling up, sometimes there, there comes a time where, where everything is good in your life and you still need to leave some things behind or perhaps people behind, not, not cutting them off and burning your bridges completely, but just kind of leaving them behind to move on to something that is um, onward and upward in your future. So what's behind this, this past energy and leaving it behind? We've got slow but steady. So you've been coming to these decisions slowly but steadily. Stripping illusions, so you've been facing up to it and psychic development. You've had like um, messages about that too, like omens and signs that it's time to kind of move on from this past energy. Or the current energy that should be the past energy. Six of Wands, and you've been recognized for something here. Why have we got the Six of Wands on the table? Four of Materials. Holding back from it. Interesting. But withdrawing your energy from it. So even though you recognize for something that is good, perhaps in the workplace, like great work that you've been doing and people saying, oh, it's a shame that you're leaving because you're so good at that. And it could be something like that. Even though you're getting recognized for it, there's still like a need to move on and hold your energy back from it. And, and this this is where our ego comes into play, right? So it's not just our comfort zone, it's our ego zone too. Um, sometimes we like to be on top. We like when to stay in places, even if it's not good for us. People stroke our egos by saying we're great. You know, it's like being the most intelligent in the room or being the most proficient in the room. Um, or, you know, um, being the fittest in the room. Sometimes you've got to go to that gym where there's people that are better than you and you take it to the next level. Um, but sometimes we just like to stay at that gym and be, be on top 
right and be the one that's always getting the applause you know always the best kind of thing so what's behind this is self-love it's loving yourself enough to kind of move forward so what about our love lives today is there anything going on in the energies for romance deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right could be changes going on in our love lives too for some if you're single then the changes that are going on in your kind of general life here they may be steering you in the direction of somebody new because when we're in transition it's never a good time to meet someone because we'll outgrow them if we meet someone at that point if we meet someone that's in our old energy you know take a reality check time to phase up to things mm. In our love lives could be leaving some of you could be leaving someone behind uh, from the past could be about love with these energies too tell us more we've got respect and flirt some respectful flirting going on possibly and what else holding on now there could be someone clinging on to you here from the past someone that doesn't want to let you go or that could be your energy too i um, not wanting to let go of the past we've got loneliness and the erotic now beware of this energy because if you're feeling lonely you might be susceptible to just kind of short-term energies that you wouldn't usually be um, susceptible to if you're looking for something more long term i mean okay what else is in the energies today for this full moon in Pisces? We have a ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Feels more like business to me, but of course, for some of you, it could be romantic. Carriage. A journey, either physical or mental. A career, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So there's definitely some change going on, something starting. We've got a younger woman here and a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding with a younger woman. Could be some misunderstanding with your daughter or something like that today. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your, for your answer. But this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull one of these crystals out of my bag and cards for a specific question that you've got, then you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, behealing.com. I'll pop a link for it in the description box below and also one up there too. I do those right at the start of the next live show and then send you the link to the replay so that you can watch it. You don't need to come live if you can't make it or if you don't want to. Alternatively, you can find my next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. Come along and book while I'm live. I can also use those crystals and my cards, of course, in private readings. Booking for one of those, there's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. After you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page, put your questions for your reading in there. So how best to deal with these energies today? We have the King of Wands, dance to the beat of your own drum. And Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is definitely do your own thing, but do recognize that there will be kind of feelings um, that you need to feel today about leaving behind the old. Full moons are always about leaving stuff behind, right? And I think in the last few days, you've had a build up to this energy. So you'll it's not going to be a surprise today. Um, but there will be feelings involved with this and it's good to sit with those feelings, you know, not try and numb out to them by drinking a bottle of wine or something like that or whatever it is that you do to numb out to, to your emotions because there could be feelings of, of regret, there could be feelings of um, like loneliness came up here, um, of the feeling left out of things as well or it could be feelings of like nostalgia and a feeling of wanting to stay in your comfort zone there could be that pull of the ego today so there's all kinds of feelings going on today and i feel like this card is saying you need to sit with those feelings but still move forward dance to the beat of your own drum so i think of a yes or no answer question now pause the video if you're not ready for your answer your answer is no it's a ruby don't do it 
there you go thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click on that subscribe button if you're new and don't forget to leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that draw for a private reading with me so good luck with winning that i do one of these energy updates every single day of the year including full moons and new moons of course i go live three times a week in that psychic cafe show where i give mini reads would love to see you in there and give you a read sometime connect with your energy personally and I also make three love pick a card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever, have the best full moon ever, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.